So here's a map of Tassie. We're going from Devonport up there to Sheffield, then to Cradle Mountain. Look at that. And then Cradle Mountain tomorrow, we go down to Strawn. Bam. Okay, Mark, on his challenger. And there's his fucking driveway. Rubble. After you, Damien. Watch me go down this bloody joint. Oh my god. bloody off-road bike. I reckon I'd be brilliant at it. Right, we're on our way to Melbourne, Port Melbourne now. Meet up with some others. Board the boat tonight. And away we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. It's a pretty special car. Thank you, pretty special bike. Right, so what are you going to do to get a car like that? Oh, real estate, good on you. Yes, I will give you my car. How's that? I'm well equipped. Chris, Nicole, Nicole. Nicole. Chris. Can we touch <laughs> each other? <laughs> Well, today's adventure before dementia, Devonport is often described as a gateway to Tasmania's northwest, otherwise known as Australia's market garden. And the farms surrounding Devonport produce fruit and veggies that make up 40% of the island's annual crop. The first European settlement was around 1850, and Devonport was proclaimed a city by the one and only Prince Charles on the 21st of April 1981. But before the Europeans arrived, Devonport sits on the lands of the, I'm going to write it there because I can't say it, clan of the Palawa Nation. The Aborigines first arrived in Tasmania, then a peninsula of Australia around 40,000 years ago. The ancestors of the Aboriginal Tasmanians were cut off from the Australian mainland by rising sea levels around the 6000 BC era. They were entirely isolated from the rest of human species for another 8,000 years until Europeans made contact. For much of the 20th century, Tasmanian Aboriginal people were wildly and erroneously thought of as being an extinct culture that had been intentionally exterminated by white settlers and of course the diseases that they introduced. A picture of the last four Tasmanian Aborigines of solely Aboriginal descent circa 1860 is here. Truganini, the last to survive, is seated on the far right. And I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land I visit today and indeed this entire week and pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Now let's go, shall we? Right, here we go. We're on the way to Sheffield now from Devonport. So uh, I'll see how that road is. become very well known for all the murals it has in town. There's a, at the moment there's just over 200 I believe and uh, there's one behind me now. Every year they have a mural festival where an artist is invited to do a brand new mural so every year there's a new mural to look at. So this is Sheffield, it's about 25 k's out of Devonport where we've just left off the boat and after here we have Cradle Mount. It's a great mural of a horse and cart <coughs> with a sheep dog there. So let's go and have a look at what else we could find around Sheffield. Right now, just watch those pipes. They're very, very hot. Do you want me to lift him up? Thank you. Okay, don't touch too much, mate. I don't mind his... Uh, no, I just worry about his... Don't there you go, it. you got a shot. See you later, everyone. I'm good to you. Okay, ready? Smile. Oh, I can see your eyes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I look this way, maybe there's another one. Smart, look at me. That's it. What? That's older, all I wanted. When you're older. When oh, you're come older. on. <laughs> oh, come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Oh, well, all you gotta do is watch that pipe. Yeah, so, so actually, um, yeah, wait, that's no, a way. That's a way. Oh, no, I will go on it. No, no, no. It's too cool. Thank you. No, I want. Okay, you're going to smile. Big smile, Alice. Put your hands up on the, like, if you dance there. That's it. There's the other one. Yeah. Here we are at Dr. Mojo's. Piano there for people. You know me and junk jobs. Wow, hello, how are you doing? It's a thing. It is, it's a thing. Like, like a horse's hair brush. Oh, yeah. Look at the antlers. Oh my god, how cool they look on the bike. <laughs> yeah, that looks really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I know I'll do something with it. That's it. But I can't be too many around. No. That's the way, Ben. And for my next. So we're heading up to Cradle Mountain now. I'm going to spin you around and show you that on the, uh, the approach. It's Nicole, everybody. <laughs> Very posh. My bet is that these rooms will have a hairdryer. Yes. <laughs> and shampoo. So I'm here in my room at Cradle Mountain. How special is that? Look at that. Okay. It's New Year's Eve. And this is where I'll be spending New Year's Eve and to welcome in New Year's Day. Cradle Mountain Wilderness Gallery. So that's the hotel back there. And across the way is the gallery. The arrival of Europeans to Tasmania saw a violent and devastating chapter of history and the first and only properly declared war fought by the British on Australian soil. The first Tasmanians were formidable opponents, deeply connected to country and committed to repelling the invasion of the colonisers from the land their ancestors had managed for thousands of generations. Initially, there were some friendly meetings between Tasmanian Aboriginal people and European explorers. However, the British colonial policy of systematic removal of Aboriginal people from their land, which included the Cradle Mountain region, saw Aboriginal people massacred and disposed of by authorities, the colonisers, attempt to annihilate the Palawa people failed and an ongoing Aboriginal culture connection to country and community spirit remains. Oh my god, the image of Tasmanian Aboriginals. Oh, I talked about this lady before. Truganini. She was the last surviving Aboriginal that had a 100% connection to the tribe. We should always acknowledge the Indigenous people that uh, were the first people of this land.